So this is the Spence Field shelter. We had a good night here last night, a nice little fire in the fire ring, lots of people here. I think we had uh, 10 in the shelter and about five tents down below there. Water is about a tenth of a mile away. The prairie's right down the hill, so it's nice to actually have a privy. And uh, it's pretty cold this morning. It went from 70s yesterday to 31 this morning, I think. So it's going to be a brisk, chilly hike. So yesterday we were coming down the trail northbound and looking for Spencefield Shelter and we found this sign, which doesn't mention it at all. But if you're curious and you go over here and look, as if you're heading southbound, you see the sign to the Spencefield Shelter, which is actually on the Eagle Peak Trail down that way. Would you like to show us which way? <laughs> that way! <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to keep going Novo and have to do another six miles to Derek Knob. So, this morning we're heading out and going north. So, I kind of hate stairs, but when you come up on something like this, it's just cool. on a nice field, yeah, it's just cool. Really pretty. It sometimes triggers that. Oh, that memory, yeah. This is really cool, and I don't know if it's showing up on video, but you can see layer after layer after layer of mountains. I feel like there should be dinosaurs roaming around. <laughs> That's stunning. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> You're all in my video. <laughs> That's amazing. So in addition to the stunning view that's over there, we can see rocky top over there, the second bump from the left, and that's where we're heading. Supposedly it's only a mile away, but uh, not so sure. So we got some steep ups today, and I'm finding that um, I'm pretty good on the downhills, great on the level sections, but the steep ups uh, really kill me. My legs are just burning with lactose. and. Um, I lose my breath and it's kind of frustrating to be three weeks in and still having that feeling but uh train wreck pointed out maybe it's some of its el el elevation because we're up about 5,000 feet or more but uh, it's tough I'm hoping I will get my lungs soon so this is rocky top and the name is appropriate based on all of the rocks <laughs> and Clouds are moving in, so we really can't see much, unfortunately. But amazingly, there's not a lot of wind out of here. It's just blowing over the ridges, but up here, not too bad. And every now and then, you can see down, like down there, is uh, I think Montana. <laughs> My directions are right. stop the water here and unfortunately the hose there, the pipe, there's some yucky water above it so we didn't choose that. We've gone up a little ways to where the train wreck is to get some water. And we're just down like 30 yards from the trail. It's very misty in here and uh, very cold. The temperature's gone below freezing so it's chilly and uh, hopefully we can find a spot that's out of the wind pretty soon to stop and get some lunch and then we have about three more miles to get to the shelter tonight. So we finally got to the other side of the mountain where it's a little warmer. We've had some epic uh, climbs, rock climbs, and really cold wind blowing on us. And I guess that the wind chill is probably in the teens, no doubt. The temperature, last time I checked the thermometer, was about, I think, 31. So it's been a cold day and we're kind of crossing our fingers that we'll get in the shelter when we get there but several people have passed us so we might have to tent. We'll just see. We've got I think it's about 2.30. We've been going pretty slow not near the two miles an hour average that I'd like but maybe a mile and a half. So if we've got 2.4 to go and probably rolling in around 4.30 I guess. We'll see. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is our last up for the day. We're very happy. <laughs> so, here we go. We got, I don't know, I don't know, it's a big climb, but it's not far. <laughs> 